Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. First, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Oh, right, I stashed them down here. So that's where you've been hiding. All right, I think I'm ready to go now. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd wanna go.
Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Pfft. I've been practiced since high school. I'm Ugh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Bye, Herbert. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope, this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place?
honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. If I were you, I'd keep my expectations low. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh... It was. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. 
Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. So weird being back on this boat. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clay kid, hide up. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just 
Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. I'll see you around town. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. What a draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd six as old and boring folks, are you? I wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. What's that now? Oh, uh, nothing. Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Allison? <laughs> Guess not. I think I'm gonna sit in the car for the rest of the ride. Are you sure? It's way more interesting out here. It smells better, too. You're right. I'll stay on deck. One day soon, I hope. Let's go. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. Mm -hmm. 
After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Thing I remember this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. It doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Hey, it's locked, all right. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. She did not like us using her tools. 
She was pro homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, feeling something strange. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Nothing here. So, which one of you is hiding the key, hmm? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Ouch, 
Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Then left again after the goblins. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was the mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? It was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can press the like button below. And if you're new to this channel, you can also subscribe to it for more similar content and the upcoming episodes. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe, and I hope you all have a great day. Wow.